Tonight, we're following up after a viewer reached out to us uh, concerned about people living in campers on Missoula City streets. We're working for you, talking with the city and finding out what's being done to manage it. NBC Montana's Jacob Owens reports. RVs line Industrial Road in Missoula, just across the street from Joshua Phillips' surveying business. He's watched more and more move in over the years. Litter and human waste um, and environmental hazards. There's motor oil spilled all over the road, down the road. Um, yeah, it's, it's gotten, it's an untenable situation at this point. I reached out to the city code compliance office to find out how widespread camper trailers and RVs are in Missoula and how the city manages them. We're trying to find that space where we're serving our community and keeping our community safe and those people who have residences within the community and then also trying to protect those who are unhoused as well. So it's trying to find that balance, you know, in between those two things. Owen says there are currently 67 occupied vehicles in the city's public right of way. The city gives people five days in the public right of way before asking them to move their vehicle. Requests can be elevated to legal action when individuals fail to comply with repeated warnings to move or clean up. Owens's department prioritizes unsafe and unsanitary areas. We're basically asking them to clean up their site. Sometimes we send the homeless outreach team out and we ask the homeless outreach team to help them um, get anything they might need to clean sites. In some cases, the city will clean up an area like West Harrier Street after a fire ripped through a camper, burning it down. But cleanups like these come at a cost. What is the cost to taxpayers on like a cleanup like what we saw last week? And this cleanup out on West Harrier will be close to $4,000 just to do a cleanup of that nature. Owen says policy changes could be on the horizon. A team of city officials is exploring options, including updating laws like the five-day limit on vehicles in the public right-of-way. You know, our five-day um, right-of-way occupancy ordinance was really designed for abandoned vehicles. It wasn't really designed for people that are living, you know, in that space. The city is also working to align with a federal court ruling that struck down a ban on public camping. Council members are expected to make a decision on a new ordinance in August. The measure would clarify that not all city lands are closed to overnight camping or sleeping. Back on Industrial Road, Joshua Phillips would like to see a solution to homelessness in Missoula but would also like the street next to his business cleared of campers. I'm compassionate towards uh, these people and their situations. Um, I just want the city of Missoula to be compassionate towards us, that we're taxpayers and we expect, um, we expect help. Reporting in Missoula, Jacob Owens, NBC Montana. If you have a question or a problem that you would like to send our way, just write down our email on your screen, NBC Montana Tips at sbgtv.com. We're always working for you to get the answers you need.